Hello, everybody. We've reached unit 4.2c, which is probability and plotting points. This lesson is about um, plotting points or determining coordinates for a point. So let's take a look at what they want. Question one, find the coordinates of the point plotted below. So this is sort of our first problem in uh, in the coordinate plane and um, we are supposed to tell you the address of this dot so you can think of this as a grid uh, one two three four five on the right negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five on the left uh, and along that x-axis which is on the horizontal and then the vertical axis is the y-axis with um, positive one two three four five and negative one two three four five this is a standard configuration and um, we're just going to learn location and how to locate dots on this in the next couple of lessons. So what we're going to do is read the coordinates off here. So let's take a look at the um, uh, my tablet. And I'm just surprised that uh, it doesn't show. It doesn't show the, um, I have grids on my tablet, but they aren't showing up here. Anyway. Um, this is the this is the x-axis, the horizontal axis, and the y-axis goes up and down. And I'm sorry, there's no uh, no grid lines here. There are on my tablet, which disappears, of course, to make a liar of me. There, you can see them. They are on there. So anyway, we'll we'll do what we can with what we have. Um, so when you are writing coordinates, let's do the red one. We'll keep this consistent. The first coordinate is always the x-axis. We have the x-axis here and then the y-axis. So you could think of it as alphabetical. The x, um, the point on the x-axis goes first, followed by the point on the y-axis. So without the grid lines, it's hard to see. Um, this red dot is on the one on the x-axis. So the x-axis goes horizontal. So we have a one for the first coordinate. And then down here, this is actually on the line for the negative 4, but the number is written kind of just on that line. So this is actually a negative 4 on the y-axis. So we write negative 4. And um, this would be our answer for this, this question. 1, comma, negative 4. 1, comma, negative 4. And the other one we're going to um, is to read this. What are the coordinates for this point? And so we're going to... Um, so on the x-axis, where is it on the x-axis? We count out from the origin. So this point here is called the origin. And that's the zero, zero point. Anything at this, like the coordinates for this point would be zero, zero. It's at zero on these x-axis and zero on the y. So let's count out here on the x-axis. We've got one, two, three, four. So we've got a four on the x-axis, and then on the y-axis, where are we? We're not on one, we're not on two, we're not on three. They never put the zero here because it would get in the way, or they rarely put the zero here. So you have to know. If it's sitting on the line, it's going to have a zero somewhere. If it's sitting on the x-axis, it's going to have a zero for the y because it's not up or down on the y-axis. One tells the horizontal location, the other tells the vertical location. So our answer for this one is 4, 0. So let's go back to WAMAP and see how we did. First one was 1. You can jump across using your tab button, negative 4. And I guess we'll submit the question and see how we did. OK, so we did that correctly. And they, they marked them individually. So you can get one right and one wrong, it looks like. And this one. The green, the one that was green on ours, four, comma, zero. It's right on the y-axis. It's on the zero axis. And this one's okay too. So try a couple of these on your own. They look, um, they can be deceivingly simple. Um, you should really practice reading these because under test conditions you might be a little bit nervous. And um, just do several of these using the similar questions feature and 
see if you can get like three in a row correct. All right, that's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one.